SpaceX's new four-person crew mission will revolutionize the space travel game for the entire universe and NASA. Sending these four men will help NASA have confidence in executing space research and monitor the space environment as a place that humans can populate soon. Though NASA has been working on the Artemis 1 rocket for the same mission, it has been a total failure, but it appears Grace has finally caught up with NASA. They plan to send the Artemis 1 rocket to space by November 14th. That's a way forward for the company that has decided to rely on an innovative space company like SpaceX because SpaceX has been proving to be capable of successfully launching rockets to space without flaws or explosions. Therefore, for that sake, as the only American company currently carrying humans from American soil to orbit, NASA relies on SpaceX to deliver astronauts to the ISS. This will be SpaceX's eighth crewed mission to orbit and the sixth under its contract with NASA to ferry personnel to fly crews to the ISS. NASA astronauts Nicole Mann and Josh Kasada Japanese astronaut Koichi Wakata and Russian cosmonaut Anna Kikina are scheduled to launch from Kennedy Space Center aboard SpaceX's Crew Dragon. Boeing is also partnering with NASA to launch personnel to the ISS. Boeing is also working toward launching crews to the ISS for NASA, but the Boeing Starliner has not seen much success for a while now, so NASA seems to let go of it and their own Artemis 1 rocket. Also, Boeing is now developing the Starliner capsule, which after a series of delays and technical frustration is expected to carry its first astronaut crew to the station in February 2023. However, SpaceX has now entered the picture to assist NASA in launching three astronauts and one cosmonaut to the International Space Station, just as NASA was becoming frustrated with their own rocket that they had spent so much taxpayer money on. And we'll tell you everything you need to know in this video. The mission, which involved some historic firsts, is progressing even as geopolitical tensions rise on the ground. The four crew members, Nicole Mann and Josh Kasada of NASA, Koichi Wakata of JAXA or the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, and Anna Kikina of Roscosmos, Russia, launched from Kennedy Space Center in Florida aboard a SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft. After reaching orbit, NASA shared footage of the crew aboard their capsule, sharing their enthusiasm as they described the freefall indicator they took along with them, a little stuffed doll resembling Albert Einstein's discovery, as a sign that the crew had entered at weightlessness, the toy was left to float around the cabin. Einstein, who initially conceived the theory of relativity, had the happiest thought of his entire life when he understood that a human in freefall may feel their own weight, Casada revealed in a transmission from the Crew Dragon spacecraft. We share the same cosmos and the same world. We occasionally perceive things very differently from our neighbors, Casada said, and Kikina could be seen pumping her fist as she said, we can all remember it and continue doing fantastic things and carry it out together. The sixth astronaut journey to the space station has been launched as a joint project between NASA and privately held aerospace company SpaceX with Crew-5. Man is the first woman of any race to travel to space, not just the first Native American woman. She also serves as a mission commander, a position that has never before been held by a woman on a SpaceX mission. In fact, Kikina is the first Russian to board a SpaceX mission due to a ride-sharing deal Roscosmos and NASA signed in July. Her presence in the mission is the most recent evidence that the long-standing US-Russia relationship in space will continue, at least for the time being, despite rising tensions over Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The ISS, which orbits the Earth at around 200 miles, is presently being reached by the Crew Dragon spacecraft as it makes a slow journey there. It's nothing new for NASA astronauts to be launched aboard a SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft to the International Space Station. After NASA terminated its space shuttle program in 2011, the space agency worked with SpaceX for years years to transition the task of transporting astronauts to and from the space station. SpaceX has provided a platform for multiple historic firsts with the return of human launches from US soil. For example, the Crew-4 Dragon mission brought NASA astronaut Jessica Watkins, the first black woman, to join the ISS crew. Man, a registered member of the Wailaki tribe of the Round Valley Reservation, became the first Native American woman to travel to orbit on this flight. I am very proud to represent Native Americans and my heritage, man told reporters before the launch. I think it's important to celebrate our diversity and realize how important it is when we collaborate and unite the incredible accomplishments we can have. In her role as a commander, man as captain will be responsible for keeping the spacecraft on track from launch until docking with the ISS and then again when it returns home with the four Crew-5 astronauts next year. Never before has a woman served as mission commander on a SpaceX flight, thus this is a first. NASA officials have reportedly stated that collaboration 
collaborative activities with Russia on the ISS, where the two countries are the primary operators, will remain isolated from the fight. Kikina's flight comes just a few weeks after NASA's Dr. Frank Rubio launched the ISS aboard a Roscosmos Soyuz capsule. I really love my crewmates, Kikina told reporters after she arrived at the Florida launch site. I feel really good, comfortable. We will do our job the best way, happy. During a news conference held after the launch, Sergei Krikalev, the executive director of human space flight programs at Roscosmos, spoke on the relevance of the partnership between the United States and Russia. We just continue what was started many years ago in 1975 when the Apollo Soyuz crew worked together, Krikalev said, referring to an in-space meetup in 1975 that became a symbol of post-Cold War cooperation between the United States and Russia. Let's talk about the astronauts that are on board this flight. Man and Josh Casada, astronauts for NASA who grew up in White Bear Lake, Minnesota, joined the space agency in 2013. Man was referred to as one of Casada's closest pals on the planet in earlier statements made by Casada. Along with Man, Casada and Kikina will be on one of their successful trips in space on this mission. This will be veteran astronaut Vakada's sixth trip into space. In the past, he has traveled into orbit aboard both the space shuttle and the Soyuz spacecraft operated by NASA and Russia. I remember when I first flew flew and saw our beautiful home planet, he recalled during an August press conference. It was so wonderful, such a beautiful planet, then I felt very lucky to be able to call this planet our home. What will they do in space? After reaching the ISS, the crew will join the seven astronauts already living and working on board, including four astronauts from NASA, one astronaut from the European Space Agency and two cosmonauts from Russia. Before a separate Crew Dragon spacecraft brings the four men who were a part of the SpaceX Crew 4 mission back to Earth, there will be a handover phase in which the current crew of the International Space Station will assist the newly arriving astronauts in settling in. After that, the astronauts of Crew-5 will go on to work maintaining the outside of the ISS by executing more than 200 scientific experiments and going on spacewalks which involve the astronauts leaving the ISS for short periods. According to NASA, some of the experiments that will be done will look into understanding human organs in space, better understanding heart disease, and understanding fuel systems that operate on the Moon. In roughly five months, Crew 5 is scheduled to return from space. The precise mission at hand is the one that will give SpaceX's space exploration a much needed makeover. SpaceX has already been awarded a contract with $1.4 billion by NASA for launching five additional astronauts to the ISS. This contract and the others will ensure a prosperous future for SpaceX and NASA as they collaborate to transport astronauts to and from the ISS. The newly contracted launches will continue their relationship until the year 2030. They will raise the contract value value to nearly $5 billion for 14 fully operational astronaut flights. That should tell you that NASA and SpaceX, two companies at the forefront of the race to dominate space, mean business in pursuing this goal. In 2014, SpaceX and NASA signed their first contract, which has to do with covering six different crew missions, which was budgeted to be worth a value of $2.6 billion at the time. In 2020, NASA carried out a crew demonstration mission, which marked the first astronaut launch to take off from US territory since the space shuttle program was retired. Since then, SpaceX has been in charge of normal launches. The company plans to send its fifth fully operational trip into space this fall. All these contracts, which have been deemed successful, made NASA believe in SpaceX. The contract between SpaceX and NASA builds on an extension of a contract that NASA offered SpaceX in February for three extra flights of the company's Crew Dragon spacecraft. In June, the space agency had already suggested that it wanted to sign on for even more flights when it gave SpaceX the contract extension. Attention. Do you think NASA will send the SLS rocket to space before the end of 2030? Well, SpaceX has also announced first static fire lifting 300 tons of Raptor engines that will change space and its colonization faster. Just click on the video to know more.